It's uh, currently 3 a.m. on a Tuesday. Ah! I'm uh, starting my video project today. Today I'm going to be teaching, or I guess showing, how to exhibit seven habits of a highly effective teen. Of a highly effective teen. Oh, highly effective teen. Ow! It's slipping. <laughs> Gotta put the phlegm in there. There are seven habits, so naturally we're gonna have seven steps of how to be a highly effective team. It's slipping again! No! I found it. Alright, step one is find the book. So my iPad's frozen and it won't stop recording. Oh lord, what a start. Step one and a half. Step one, oh my god. That's where it'd be nice to have friends to hold this for me. There we go. It means friends when you have a cord. Step one, be proactive. Okay, if I remember correctly, my first step was being proactive. And it's been about 23 days since I recorded that, so... So far, not doing too hot. And it is 1, 1.19, 1.19 a.m. We're best at night. You know, I was just gonna do this and just, just have it done, but I figured I might as well put it as part of my video project. This is what I got to come home to. My lovely dog decided that everything here needs to be on the floor. You can see the little sheen over there? That's because still see those little black dots are fucking ants there are ants crawling all the way here into my room and that was from her too so I got to spray the entire floor with like poison to kill all the ants and now I'm gonna sweep up all their corpses and all this trash because I'm being proactive Gah! all right being proactive is off the list so let's find something Begin with the end in mind. <sighs> that didn't work either. Because it's currently the end, and I was not thinking about this when I begun. Put first things first. <sighs> Putting first things first. Little known fact, I am actually a professional singer, so I think over this project I am going to go buy a microphone and record my new single. I bet you all thought I was kidding. I thought I, thought I was kidding. But guess what? I'm holding a brand new $65 microphone. Oh man, this better be worth it. starter. I thought I'd show everyone around my house, which is not evasive at all. And that's it! <laughs> that's where I sleep. And that's where my mom sleeps. It is hard to drive and tape at the same time. Why am I not driving? Proactivity! Productivity, not proactivity. That's not a word. Proactivity. <laughs> Get in the mail and then you. Yeah! Woo! Woo! So, today, I am putting first things first, which is. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> My friendship with this guy. So we're hanging out today. We're having a real great time. We're going to get McDonald's. I, I, oh shit. I mean, poop. Oh, poop. I, you know what? Darn it. 
God, Goo uh, Goober. What the hell is this video even about? <laughs> hey, for realsies though, we're going to. Oh, there's a doggy! How did I flip the camera? There's a dog! Look at him! <laughs> I love dogs. Turn right on Happy Valley. You know where that is? No. Is that a joke? No, I seriously don't. <laughs> I don't know where the. I use GPS 100% of the time. It looks like it goes road work ahead. Boy, I sure <laughs> hope so. Is that a bird? A what? Bird. Just my I'm phone. sure there are birds around here. I feel like we should be talking about something else. I was speaking two languages. Very <laughs> bien. <laughs> <laughs> Be productive on every Exactly. Really? This is the first lesson. So the book talks a lot about your centers, which is what you're yeah, you're going the right way. Come this way every time I work, so. So as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, the book talks a lot about your centers. Right here it says it 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 says like okay, now I'm not getting all stuttery. So, I want you to know that these are his, not mine. I'm sorry that you have to count them, but... I lost my job, so I don't have any Just a bunch of quarters. cash. How much is it? Six bucks. So that's six? Six bucks. How much more? I have to do a video project. <laughs> what? A video project. I promise we're not gonna, like, we take won't. our we'll shirts off or anything. We'll take you out of it if you don't want it. Um... Video project? No, we're just... It's, it's, it's... We're just getting food before. Yeah, you? we're getting food and it's part of the experience. <laughs> Okay. How much extra do I still want? I don't know. That's sick. I feel like you want a cheeseburger? Yeah. You like the mama bird, I'll be the baby bird. Feed me. <laughs> <laughs> Are those the glasses you get at the dentist? Yeah. I got it for a church camp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a child of God. <laughs> child. Um, <clears throat> this is a passage from Seven Habits of a Highly Effective Team, written by Sean Covey in the original Old English. <laughs> the guy that made the Mission Impossible. What? King Louis had been taken from his throne and imprisoned. His son, Wait, what do you do? the he prince. Zach, I'm trying to read a story. How did he get imprisoned? I want to know. He's a king. People so, hate kings. What the f dude? Dude, Hitler was okay. Amazing. You need to stop with that because I'm gonna have to. I have to censor that out now. Oh, child of God. Taking those who dethroned the king. They thought that because the king's son was the heir to the throne, if they could destroy him morally, he would never realize what a great and grand destiny that his life had bestowed upon him. Naturally. They, they took him to a community far away where they exposed the lad to every filthy and vile thing that life could offer. They exposed him to foods with the richness which would make quickly make him the slave to appetite. They use vile language around him, which neither of us use vile language ever. What's that? As you can tell, but have a count. They exposed him to lewd and lusting women. Can you imagine being exposed nude? to lusting women? Nude and like thrusting women or lusting? Lusting. Women? Lusting uh, means like. I was gonna say thrusting women would be terrifying. Lusting is just thrusting horrifying. at you and you're just like what the. F okay. <laughs> they exposed him to dishonor up, though, and distrust. What? You gonna hook me up with that chick? Zach, I'm trying to. I'm do like my serious, dude. I'm trying to do my visual project. Can you hook me up? Sure. Where does she live? <laughs> Zach, baby <laughs> steps, what, man. What, what baby steps. Basically, the boy didn't break the entire time. Like, can you believe that, Zach? Lusting women? I'd break. I can't believe that. It's amazing. That's incredible, it's is great. what it is. It's a great story. So, like, back, I want to say. Three to four months ago, I dated this chick, and she, we'll call her Sally. 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 Every I liked Sally, Sally a lot, you know? Like, she was a really chill person. Her parents were pretty chill. They were both cops. Smoking hot. But I, yeah, smoking. <laughs> Anyways, you couldn't see me wink, but I winked. Anyways, so, 
we were dating for like two months. It's not serious or anything, but I've known this girl since freshman year. So she was basically like the first friend, one of the first friends that I met. And along the lines of us dating, she moved out and she got into a, she got an apartment with her um, friend Nick. Nick's not a problem at the time because I know him. He was a really chill dude. He smokes and, a lot. Yeah, he smokes a lot. Was it watching this? What? I mean, he does not smoke. No. Anymore. Does anybody do a marijuana's here? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, anyways, he was uh, he was chill. He wasn't a problem at all. But it was when his friends started coming over, like they were like, "Yo, dude, I'm gonna tap that." And I was like, "No." Like, and then Sally told me about it. She's like, "This guy keeps flirting with me, and I don't want to mess up." And I was like, "Dude, like I trust you, you know." Dude. <laughs> Lesson number one: I don't trust anybody. Like. That's the moral of the story, pretty much. But I'm gonna keep going and tell you. So, regardless, I I trusted her, which you can probably end up where this story's going. Probably guess where it's ending up to go. And <laughs> she ended up in this dude, you know, slaying that tunnel thing. I just said you can blur old that old out. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so <laughs> I ended up waxing his carriage. <laughs> it's just <hot. laughs> Anyways, so like. After that, I was like pretty sad because you know, like, she's been my friend for so long, and I was like, this is gonna like ruin everything. Like, I'm not gonna talk to her like ever again. And then, so basically, after a while, I got into a car. Like it was like a month, two months after, and I got in a serious car crash. I really shouldn't have lived through it. I should have been decapitated, based on what everyone's saying about it. Click and you like link, link in the description. <laughs> Link in the <laughs> like and favorite, comment and subscribe if you liked my 30 day project. But, but like, it was like really like two months for me because like I got cheated on and that was like rough because I didn't like, I don't know, I didn't express my feelings. See, I ain't no bitch. But anyways, so I held that in and on top of me getting in a car crash, it like totally destroyed me. But you know what I said? I saw Trump on TV. So Trump. I was like, what is this guy? I can't let this guy be president. I gotta go do something to stop him. So you know what I did? What did you do, Zach? Tell Heroin. <laughs> so I was like, dude, like these guys are making a real impact on the world. Impact. And I was like, all right, like, hey, I should go do something productive. So I went to go walk my dog. It was a start, but I was like, I have never walked my dog. Dog is like house fucking torture. He's chained my house because he's never leaving there. Anyways, so I was like, hey, I'll try to change myself. And you know, being the super athletic macho man I am. I was like, let's go for a f buddy. And he was like, bark, bark. And I was like, whoa! And then, so we were running down the road. It's Arizona, so it's like 200 degrees out. And I started sweating. And I was like, dude, this is rough. And I was like, I don't even want to do this anymore. Where's you know what I did? Going? I kept pushing through it. I went through the pain and I went through this. And you know what? I felt good afterwards. So it's the last day of my project. Oh, wow, my hair is long, man. Look at this. I have to keep fixing it in old videos. Oh my god. The world oppresses me. Everything is darkness. <laughs> yeah. Um it was a it was a good month. I uh I was more proactive, which was the big thing I think I took out of it was, you know, just do stuff, you know. I just said, you know, twice. Oh my god, I sound like a just that's just doing stuff. Like, just not sitting around, you know, getting stuff done. It'll help you a lot in life. And I think that that was a good wake-up call. I kind of needed that. And uh, putting first things first. I mean, I feel like I've kind of already done that most of my life. That's why it was kind of hard to do a representation of that. And then beginning with the end in mind, I think, I think that's a pretty good trait to try and have. But I think most of the time it's... It's that's more of a long term thing, you know, and in 30 days it's hard to apply anything like that. Um, but between, you know, hanging out with my friends, picking up stuff around the house, just doing stuff, my grades have gone from, oh man, I think I was failing three classes like before this project began, and now I have one, one F, and it's like right on the edge. I think it, that was most of my proactiveness, and I'm, I like it. I think it did good. So that's my video project.